remember the partial equilibrium market model. It is a market model in which we have three equations, the demand equation, supply equation and the equilibrium equation. And if you remember in the third week, we tried to determine the equilibrium price and the equilibrium quantity by using the simple method of elimination and substitution. Now if there are a large number of equations, then the use of the simple method of elimination and substitution becomes time consuming. So in such cases, the matrix method may be used. The market model comprises of three equations, demand equation, supply equation and equilibrium equation. In the model, D is the quantity demanded, S is the quantity supplied and P is the price. A, B, C and D are the parameters. Now how to solve this model using matrix algebra? Solving the market model requires finding the values of the equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity that is the values of D, S and P. The market model is an example of a simultaneous equation. In order to solve this model by using the matrix method, it has to be first transformed into the matrix form. This may be done by following few simple steps for transformation. The first step calls for rearranging the equations by placing the variables on the left hand side and the constants on the right hand side. Since D, S and P are variables, they are placed on the left hand side and the constants A and C are placed on the right hand side. In the second step, the equations are further manipulated by including all the variables of the model in all the equations. A zero coefficient is given to the variables absent in any particular equation. In the third step, we construct matrices and vectors to transform the system of simultaneous equation to matrix form. Thus, we construct a matrix of coefficient of order 3 by 3. Let us name it matrix A. We construct a column vector of variables of order 3 by 1. Let us name it as X. And another column vector of constants of order 3 by 1. Let us name it Z. Therefore, the transformed market model is given as AX is equal to Z or X is equal to A inverse into Z. So we have transformed the three equations into a single equation. Now let us try to solve this transformed model. So our transformed market model is X is equal to A inverse Z. We now proceed to find A inverse. The formula for finding out the inverse of a matrix is given by the ratio of the adjoint of the matrix to the determinant of the matrix. And for a solution to exist, determinant of A must not be equal to 0. In the example of the transformed market model, determinant of A equals to minus B plus D. I would ask you to pause the video for a few seconds and understand how the determinant is calculated. The adjoint matrix of matrix A is obtained by taking the transpose of the cofactor matrix. The cofactor of an element is obtained by the following formula. Cij is equal to minus 1 
टू दी पावर i प्लस जे इन टू एम आई जे हियर सी आई जे इज द को फैक्टर ऑफ द एलिमेंट इन द आयथ रो एंड जे एथ कॉलम एंड एम आई जे इज द माइनर ऑफ द एलिमेंट इन द आयथ रो एंड जे एथ कॉलम minor of an element is found out by striking off the row and column in which the element is placed and taking the determinant of the remaining elements in the example of the market model minor of element 1 in the first row and first column of the coefficient matrix is given by the determinant of the remaining elements after striking out the elements in the first row and first column now by using the cofactor formula the cofactor of the element 1 is minus d the cofactors of the remaining elements of the coefficient matrix a is obtained by using the same formula I would want you to go back and note down all the cofactors. So, this is the cofactor matrix of matrix A that we have just obtained. And adjoint of A is given by transposing the cofactor matrix that is by interchanging the rows and columns. Finally, inverse of the matrix A is given by dividing the adjoint of the matrix by the determinant of the matrix further the values of matrix x may be calculated by multiplying the inverse of matrix a with the vector of constants we finally determine the equilibrium values of quantity demanded quantity supplied and the equilibrium price the matrix method initially may look very tricky but once you have mastered the basic concepts uh, of matrix algebra it will become very interesting and exciting try to solve it